This is the theme to morning announcements. The theme to the announcements. Dr. Kanoi called me up and asked if I would write a theme song. I'm almost halfway finished. How do you like it so far? How do you like the theme to the Rogers morning announcements? This is the theme to Rogers announcements. The opening theme to announcements. This is the music that you hear as you watch the credits. We're almost to the end. The end of the theme song. Then we'll watch the Rogers morning announcements. Hey, Rogers Bears, I am ready for the morning announcements, but I can't find my partners, Mr. Stevens and Mr. Gwinner, so I gotta go looking. Have you guys seen them? Mr. Stevens, Mr. Gwinner, I'm in like some kind of giant forest. I don't see them here. Mr. Stevens, Mr. Gwinner, oh my gosh, look at the size of that butterfly and apple behind me. They aren't here, that's for sure. Whoa, I'm in outer space and I still don't see him. I better get a closer look. Hold on. Back up in our atmosphere in the sky, I think I see them down there. It's kind of nice up here. There they are. I'll see you guys on the announcements real soon. All right, uh, Jeff, I'm a little confused because isn't Chris supposed to be here? We're supposed to do this thing like now. I'm always confused. Oh. Oh my gosh, you won't believe everywhere I've been looking for you guys. I can't Have believe you right were here, here the whole time. Hey, listen, you're, we got some exciting news. Rogers Elementary has invited us to do their announcements. Today is Tuesday, April 28, 2020, and we're going to take them through the announcements. So I want to go ahead and introduce us, um, kids, Roger Bears. We are SS3. My name is Chris Aarons, and I want to introduce you to my friends here, Jeff, Steven. Jeff, where are you? Um, I'm in a cave right now because I thought today would be a good day to be a bear. That's amazing. It is a good day to be a bear. Always. Now, I also thought that it would be nice if we each had a riddle or joke or something for the kids that we could throw out there, kind of like a teaser, and to get them to keep watching to the very end when we reveal the answers. So do you have something for the boys and girls, Jeff? Yes. Uh, Kurt knows the answer, so please hold off, Kurt. What is easy to get into, but hard to get out of? <laughs> Ooh, easy to get into, but hard to get out of. Brain we'll take on that one. And up in, over here to my side, Mr. Kurt Gawinner, the interrupter of sorts. How are you doing, buddy? Say hi to the Rogers Bears. Hello, Rogers Bears. <laughs> like the medicine. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. Well done. Now, do you have a joke or riddle or something for the kids? You know, it's funny, Chris. I like to write a riddle every day of my life. So I have a lot of riddles. Yes. Um, would, would you share one? one with them? <laughs> okay, no problem. This one I wrote 374 days ago, and it's this. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? Ooh, I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I don't even know the answer. I hope one of you guys do. Anyway. That's a tough one. You know, I got one for him too. <coughs> Excuse me. Before we get started, what has to be broken before you can use it? What has to be broken before you can use it? So those are some things for the Rogers Bears to stick around to the end. We got another special surprise for them at the very end. But right now, let's get these announcements started the right way. So let's go ahead and do our Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand if you are able. Please put your right hand over your heart. Face the flag if you have one around, and let us begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and, and justice, justice for, all. for all. Very nice. Now, Rogers also has another wonderful tradition. They have a 
character pledge. So Jeff, if you would like to get us started on that. Sure. Today I'll use my hands to help someone who's down. Today I'll use my face to smile instead of frown. Today I'll use my words to show how much I care. Today I'll do my best. I am a Rogers bear. That is fantastic. Let's go ahead and move on to the announcements. Thank you to all the parents that submitted the class placement form. We certainly value and appreciate your feedback. Uh, today we have a first grade virtual lunch with Dr. Put the Key in it, Kinoy. Parents, you will be receiving an email from me with links to the lunch as well as to the ever popular grid view extension. Fantastic. Tomorrow night is our weekly Rogers Zoom Town Hall starting at 7 p.m. Parents, the login information was sent in an email to you last Friday. Please remember to send in those bear awards to Rogers bear award at gmail.com and your photos to Mrs. Resch at reshr at msdr9.org. Got a fun one here today. We celebrate a birthday at Rogers and today is the birthday of Kaylee B. Oh, fantastic. Happy birthday, Kaylee. I know you're going to get a birthday pencil when they return to school. So now it's time for a very special tradition that Roger said. It's time for the Bear Awards. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go do the Bear Awards, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Um, he's going he's gonna to do the Bear Awards? Did that make sense, Jeff? I'm always confused. Guys, I don't know. I have been all through these woods and I don't see any bears. I don't think we're gonna be able to do any bear awards today. I'm gonna head back in. But I, I think there are the bears. <laughs> Guys, I got bad news. I went out in the woods. I couldn't find a single bear to give an I award to. I don't we're think that's have how to it works. Skip this part. I don't no, think that's how it works. Kids and their teachers. Kids and teachers get them. Yeah, they're the bears. The yeah. bears. So I didn't need to go in the woods. That was that you did that very quickly. But no, you did not need the, to go in the woods. Right outside. All right. Well, let's get to the bear awards then, because we must have something if it's kids and teachers. Jeff, you got our first bear award. Yeah, I would like to give a bear award to uh, Mrs. Japa. Her passion for teaching and love for her students is apparent in her seesaw videos and much appreciated. She makes the whole e-learning process so much easier with her positive outlook and kind words. Very good. I am going to present uh, the Bear Award to Mrs. Donzi. Hey! She has taken components of her normal classroom and used them in the e-learning process, such as her mindfulness activities. We are grateful for her and the work that she has done, along with Mrs. Chambliss and Mrs. Bridges. Oh, well, fantastic. Bridges. My Bear Award is going to go to Morgan P. She has been a great role model for her sister with her love of reading and dedication to her schoolwork. She works hard to get her work done and head outside to bike ride, hopefully with a helmet, and play or catch up with her friends on messenger kids and roblox she has never complained about not being able to go to school and being stuck at home we are so grateful for her positive attitude all right i got one for maddie p maddie p has surprised us with her computer tech savvy abilities she works hard to go through all her assignments right away after listening to the morning announcements she's determined to figure it all out she has she has also been very creative with her assignments, and we are so proud of her. She's bike riding, swinging, scootering, and trampolining as often as she can. She, too, has never complained about the stay-at-home order. Thank you, young ladies. Ooh, trampolining. That's a word. I like that it. That is fantastic. Now, we have a few bear awards to hand out from when they were still on campus before Ooh. the school closed. And that. So all these following ones are going to come from before school closed. So these students earned them earlier, but we want to recognize them now. Awesome. Well, good job to Mia S. You waited responsibly to go to into the gym to get her jacket. Excellent. I have one for Jaden C for standing in line and following the hallway expectations. I got one for Presley S cleaning up after others. Awesome. And Memphis S, I think that's actually supposed to be Memphis T, Memphis, Tennessee. Anyway, Memphis S for showing respect. 
And I have one for Mia C for the great work in math. And as these Roger Bears don't know, but our many other fan does know, we are very big fans of the math department. And so it's fantastic to hear about students doing well in math. And so this brings us to the part of our announcements. We really want to introduce something special to the kids. And then we have a little bit of a contest giveaway for you, boys and girls. And what we want to encourage you to do is we want to give away some pizza, some pieology pizza. Who doesn't like pieology pizza? Put whatever you want on it. I got friends at pieology and I said, guys, I'm doing the announcements for the Rogers Bears. And these are some fantastic kids. Can we hook some of them up with some pizza? They said, you bet. So I have given Dr. Kinoy. 12 pizza coupons that he's going to be randomly mailing to people, but here's how you can enter your name to possibly win. I want you to go make a positive sign about anything positive, put the hashtag Roger Strong on it, take a picture of it, and have your parents email it to Dr. Kinoy. It can be on a piece of paper, it could be sidewalk chalk, it could be with clay, whatever you want. And then he will choose randomly 12 submissions and he will mail them a coupon for a free pizza pie from Pieology. And you can get cheese or you can get like 12 toppings on it. It's great. And these are all for you guys because we're so excited. So how does that sound, guys? Um. Oh, that is a positive message, but it's only oh. for the students of Rogers, Jeff, you're not eligible to win. We can't make us, we can make signs, but we can't Hey, Chris, win. So I want pizza. And, Chris, yeah. I want pizza. Rogers yeah. Strong. It, first off, it's a good first attempt there with your spelling, and I'm sure we'll be able to help you with that. But um, again, we can't win. It's the- it's spelled Rogers with an students. L. Oh, so guys, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Go out, make your positive signs, Take a picture of them, email them to Dr. Kinoy by Thursday night, and he will select some. He may post some of the pictures on the social media, and then he'll be sending some of you guys. We'll be getting some free pizza from our friends at Pyology. So before we sign off, we just want to leave you with a few positive words, and of course, the answers to our riddles, if you remember those in that so mr stevens i know your riddle why don't you repeat your riddle for us of course what is easy to get into but hard to get out of the answer easy is trouble trouble so trouble is easy to get into but hard to get out of very good Fine. you have any encouraging words for our rogers bears before we sign off mr stevens um like at the kids at bernard be kind be awesome that is fantastic advice. Let's head over to um, Kurt. Let's remember your riddle. What is tall when it's young and short when it's old? Tall when it's and young. And burns. Old. Sorry, I added that. that. That's a nice addition. What would your answer be? That'd be a candle. Now, guys, candles go way back in the days of yours. It's where you light something and it burns. That's a fantastic a history lesson from a history teacher. Kurt, you got any encouraging words for our Rogers Bears before we sign off? Just that uh, Dr. Kino, I can't say enough about you guys. He's really excited for us to be able to do this. And I think he's just thinking like what we're all thinking. You guys are awesome. Um, and uh, just want to be here for you guys as best we can. Fantastic. And I'll end up with um, my riddle was what has to be broken before you can use it? What happens to be broken before you can use it? An egg. You have uh, to break an egg before you I wrote can that one. I didn't know it. use it. That is a fantastic riddle. Hopefully you got some of our riddles right. And I just want to echo the thoughts of Jeff and Kurt in that be awesome, be kind in that. And we are so excited for the opportunity that Dr. Kinoy gave us to host these announcements. I know we're all sad we can't be at school. I know it's difficult, but just hang in there. We'll be back sooner than you realize and then it'll go by. So always choose joy, always be kind and that and hang in there rogers bears thanks for the opportunity have a great day and we look forward to seeing some of your positive signs on the twitter when dr kinoy posts them so bye bye bears